Gene Dodaro, welcome. Uh, your, your, uh, as Senator Coburn said, uh, uh, very, uh, held very high by this committee, and I'd say by most members of Congress. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member, uh, Senator Coburn, Senator Johnson. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here this morning. Uh, before I start about the subject of today, though, uh, given your uh, impending retirement from the Senate, uh, Senator Lieberman, I wanted to just take a minute on behalf of myself and all my colleagues at GAO to thank you for your years of dedicated service to our country. It's been a privilege to work with you on many initiatives to, to improve government. And know when you leave, you leave with the best wishes of, for myself and our organization. So thank you very much. Thanks very much. It was very kind of you. And it's been a pleasure to work with you. And based on that opening statement, I, I'm probably going to try to arrange for you to appear before the committee at least three or four times more <laughs> before, before the end of the year. Well, since I thought this might be my last appearance, I, I, uh, I can't guarantee it at every session. But with regard to today's uh, subject, I mean, it's a very important topic. Uh, we've been uh, reviewing both USAspending.gov and recovery.gov. We had statutory responsibilities uh, to do that. Uh, and I think the USAspending.gov, as been mentioned, was uh, Senator Coburn's uh, sponsorship, uh, was pioneering legislation. And we took a good look at it back in, and issued a report in 2010. And we found OMB had stood up the website and was searchable, uh, but there were a lot of uh, quality, uh, accuracy, and completeness uh, issues. We took a sample of 100 awards back then and found uh, a data problem with each of the 100, and in 70% of the cases, multiple data uh, quality uh, issues. Uh, also, uh, some agencies at that point in time were not reporting, uh, and uh, OMB had missed the deadline for including subaward data, which was set for January 2009. Now, since then, and we made a number of recommendations, OMB's acted on some of the recommendations. Uh, subaward data is now available uh, on the site. They've uh, uh, designated accountable officials at each of the departments and agencies, and there to have a quality assurance framework uh, in place. Uh, but we still think there ought to be more reporting uh, by OMB on the usage of the site. The act required an annual report, and only once has OMB issued that uh, report uh, to the Congress. So we think there's more to do. Uh, the committee has recently asked us to look again at the quality of the information on usaspending.gov, so we'll be launching another review to do that more carefully, and we'll report uh, back to the committee. Now, in the Recovery Act, it, it introduced novel concepts in addition to those introduced by USAspending.gov in that it had recipients of the information reporting the data, whereas USAspending.gov was a federal agency reporting the award data. Uh, and uh, I, I must say uh, the efforts were very impressive to stand that up within a 30-day period of time on a national scale with thousands of recipients receiving the money. Uh, not surprisingly, we did find, though, in early stages of it, data quality problems, made a number of recommendations. OMB and the Recovery Board were quick to implement our recommendations. We had a very good working relationship with them, and the information began to improve. But there's some critical lessons learned out of that process I think are really important. Uh, number one, there was two-way communication with the federal government and the state and local government uh, community. Shortly after the act was passed, actually a, a number of state officials sent a letter to myself and the director of OMB at the time, uh, Peter Orzog, about trying to have a, a working arrangement on the reporting requirements. So we worked, and I talked to Peter, we'd set up weekly meetings with OMB which, uh, uh, and Treasury and other stakeholders so that these issues could be discussed. There was training provided to the recipients so they knew how to report, particularly those that had not reported uh, previously uh, to the federal government. Uh, and uh, there was also, uh, after a period of time, a need for the federal agencies to review the quality of the information. For a period of time there, there was a period where the recipients were reporting. In some cases, their information conflicted with the federal agencies' information. Uh, and uh, the federal agencies, once they started reviewing the quality of the data and there was ability to make changes to the data, the quality uh, improved uh, during that, uh, after that period of time. Uh, and also there were 
other lessons learned where the federal agencies could actually pre-populate some of the information so to reduce the burden on the recipients going forward. So I think there's a lot of, of uh, opportunities here to build upon the lessons learned from the Recovery Act and USAspending.gov to uh, broaden the amount of information that's made uh, and the transparency of that information to, to the American public to build upon both of those efforts uh, to, to learn from them uh, and to expand that, though, so that there's more information made available in better formats that could be uh, accessible to the American people and that a premium be placed on the quality and the reliability of the information. That, that's pivotal here. I mean, we can make a lot of information available, but it's not reliable and accurate. It doesn't really serve the American people well and doesn't serve policymakers and other decision makers well. So we're going to be continuing to focus on the efforts to ensure the quality of the information. I would say uh, that legislation is absolutely essential here uh, going forward. Uh, and uh, I you know, commend the House as well for starting the legislative ball rolling on, on this process. I say that for several reasons. One, I think it's really important to get consensus on what information is required to be reported. I think legislation is needed to ensure continuity over time, that there's data s standards that are set in place uh, in order to uh, make sure that uh, the information is comparable and can be consistent over time, that there's proper stakeholder involvement. I think there are legitimate issues on reporting burden that could be worked through appropriately so that this could be done in an efficient manner and that we could take advantage of the latest technologies in order to not only be more efficient uh, but also to allow for more searchability. Uh, I think some of the features of the recovery.gov, particularly the geographic distribution of the information, was very helpful, and there's a lot of lessons that could be learned there. So I think, uh, you know, with, the, with the, uh, the legislation that's moved through the House and new legislative initiatives in the Senate, you know, hopefully something can be done here to provide a proper foundation for this going forward so it can be successful, done well, and be enduring uh, over a period of time. So I, Thank you very much for your time and attention this morning. I'd be happy to answer questions uh, at the appropriate time. Thank you, Gene. That's a good uh, beginning.